Aaron Boyd, Dylan Kibosh, or a couple I saw out there, Joe Bowditch, all enjoying the win there of Sir Papo. Well backed and got the money in the first. This is race two, however. Dyna Choir, the favourite, they're set to run. Away, Dyna Choir went straight to the lead, challenged out wide by Mulga Jack. Gee, it's got some speed. It's going to clear them in the end. And Mulga Jack leads. Now Dakota Cam rallied up to be second as they work to the back. Three lengths away to Light Cry and Dyna Choir. Five lengths to Destiny Cherokee and Spring Kudu. Down the back, Mulga Jack by half, but stays away from the rail. Dakota Cam's got its chance, but Mulga Jack gets away again. Dyna Choir and Light Cry won't run on, uh, but Mulga Jack's just in front of him a win. Second, Dakota Cam. Third, Light Cry and Dyna Choir ran fourth. Uh, they stayed in that order most of the race. Uh, further back was Spring Kudu and Destiny Cherokee. Last home, the time here is around 30 and 35. No, 30 and 25. Number eight, Mulga Jack for Adam Manton. Cleared them with a really good turn of foot early. Yeah, showed tremendous speed out wide, Mulga Jack. Dyna Choir was the first to find the rail, but uh, Mulga Jack really accelerated on that first corner and cleared them. He wanted to roll off down the back, and Dakota Cam was able to get underneath of him and certainly had its chance to go with Mulga Jack. But in the end, Mulga Jack stayed wide, but still being too good for the opposition here and has come clear to defeat Dakota Cam. And Light Cry running third, Dyna Choir seemingly every chance back in fourth placing. Eight, seven, one and two, 30 and 25 the time. It's a length and a quarter by a length, 4.48 early, 13.04 on the way home. And it's eight, seven, one and two. Mike, 